Welcome back. We're doing the recording of 8th of November's God Blessing, a companion in a life. And that is what God wants us to make him a companion in our life. And once we make him a companion, it becomes easy for everything to be faced in our life, whether it's people, whether it's situations, whether it's anything. But when we forget him to be a companion, then everything becomes difficult. Every situation, every word, anything which we face becomes more difficult. And any second we can forget him as a companion and think of others, think of issues, and think of problems and make ourselves heavier. So today we're going to talk about this important aspect where he wants us to become a companion and take him along with us in every situation. So what is that method and how does that empower us is what we're going to see over here. So let's see what his prefer had to say. He says, may you experience your companion to be combined with you. When somebody's combined with us, that's the time you feel less burdened. You have somebody to support you, you have somebody to guide you, somebody to take on your burdens. And you feel less burdened. That is what God wants to become. But we are somebody who forget Him every single time. We take on the process or we take on the ego, subtle ego of I have to do everything because I know how to do it because I have the talent or I have that experience and that's where the I comes in and when the I comes in this third eye is forgotten and the supreme creator's eye is forgotten. We forget to see through our eye, the mind's eye, we forget to see the companion and we only start seeing our skills, talents which actually have been given by him. So God says, however you have to experience the companion to be combined with you. They cannot be separated. Just like two people who love each other cannot be separated no matter what. Similarly over here, when we have love for this companion, the supreme creator, the supreme light, the supreme being, the source of everything, the light of the world, when this light, a conscious light, form of being a conscious light remembers us and we have forgotten him then the situations become difficult so he says no one has the power to separate you from your combined form brings experience into your awareness again and again and that's what we need to do not just when we are going for meditation it's even when we are sitting like I'm sitting over here I can take him as a companion I can just satya asana come my spirit be with me, let's work this out, let's do this service together. I don't want to be alone. So the tiredness goes away. Overthinking goes away. Feeling completely fresh becomes a new thing, a new life, enthusiastic life, full of zeal and enthusiasm. And no matter what people say, it doesn't matter. And you still go ahead with the mission. God then says, Bring this experience into your awareness again and again and you will become an embodiment of remembrance. It's going to be easy to be a Raja Yogi. Raja Yogi is somebody who is in control of his mind and intellect. And instead of letting it waver into different directions, a Raja Yogi is somebody who is focused on one point, the point of light, the divine being. And that focus increases the power to see things, to have your intuition sharpened. So, you become an embodiment of remembrance. The more you continue to increase experiencing your combination or your combined form with the Supreme Creator, then I'm along with you. You are like my companion, you are like my friend, you are like my companion who is working with me. Either whether I'm going for my work, I'm meeting people, I'm doing some work alone, or any kind of thing, any kind of karma which we're doing, we're doing in a combined form. Right now, I'm recording this you're going to listen to this i am in complete tandem you know you, you do a tandem jump when you're doing skydiving that means you have a guard or a guide along with you and you are also flying in the air under that parachute that's what we need to do we need to be safe under the canopy of protection of god father under that parachute and we need to be with him and it's his parachute not our own can't be alone. If it's our parachute, the first one might fail. And then you have a second one, right? So 
so why not make him the first one itself, which never fails. God then says, the more you continue to increase experiencing your combined form, the lovelier and entertaining you will find Brahman life to be. Brahman life is a life where we meditate on God, Father, the Creator, the Supreme Life, and we make Him as a companion no matter what situation comes in. And that is the test which one needs to pass. God also tests you whether you love Him enough or not. So certain tests in the drama, in this complete world drama, can come in front of you and challenge you, challenge your own self. And that's the time God will test you whether you have ego within you or not, whether you've got greed within you or not, whether you've got jealousy within you or not. And when you pass this test by making him your companion, that's the time is victory, the real victory. It's not about achieving something in life, but this feeling of negativity when it can be removed by making him a companion is the greatest victory which one can achieve because you're going to feel peaceful feel love and happiness and joy and lightness. Isn't that what you're looking for? And that's what it means to make him a companion. As compared to being proved right. As compared to saying, I want to be proven right. My point has to be taken or anything else. So this is what we learn in Brahmakumaris. And more details can be shared with you when you reach out to a Brahmakumari center. Or if you are there available on Sundays, you can come to us and on Zoom live you can listen to 5 o'clock in the evening, Sunday, 30 November, 6 to 6.15 p.m. Do be there with us. Let's see you there. With this Om Shanti.